An economy in tatters have the people of Venezuela fearful and desperate. Millions have already fled to other nations, including the United States. The perfect snapshot of Venezuela's black is white dystopian unreality. An oil rich country so devastated economically that it can't even keep the lights on. Where life is so unlivable that a quarter of its population has fled. A quarter, nearly eight million people. William Newman's book about Venezuela says it all. Things are never so bad that they can't get worse. With a history of on-again, off-again democracy, held elections. Maduro claimed he had been re-elected, but in a bold act of defiance, the opposition produced voting machine tallies, proving that this man, Edmundo Gonzalez, had actually won the presidency by better than a two-to-one margin. You, you Maduro called out the military. Gonzalez was told, leave the country or else. He turned up in Spain. At least two dozen people were killed and more than 2,000 detained in the chaos. I've been accused of terrorism. The dictatorship has said that they are looking for me and that they want to get me. How could the country that's sitting on the largest oil reserve in the world end up like this? It rained money. They spent it, wasted it, and stole it. It stopped raining, the people went hungry. And that's essentially what happened in Venezuela in a nutshell. Venezuela has been producing oil since 1914, but what's known as the resource curse really set in when the charismatic and controversial Hugo Chavez was elected president in 1998. Uh, when Chavez takes office, the price of oil was $7 a barrel. Within several years, it gets to over $120 a barrel. So Chavez was very fortunate because he comes in just at the beginning of this great commodities boom. Chavez spent huge sums of oil money on social programs and borrowed even more, plunging his country into debt. But ordinary Venezuelans felt rich and heard for a change. The United States was his favorite boogeyman. His hand-picked successor was Nicolas Maduro. He wasn't so lucky or so popular. Oil prices crashed. Inflation reached an inconceivable 300,000%. Maduro met public discontent with repression. Just over 750,000 Venezuelans have either been granted temporary protected status here or have applied. So Venezuela's crisis is here, at our doorstep, in our cities. They cross the Darien Gap, risking their lives. Venezuela has resumed the human hemorrhage of its people, resumed exporting its crisis. <laughs> Things are never so bad that they can't get worse. Inflation reached an inconceivable 300,000%. <clears throat>